Monologue from Two Gentlemen of Verona by Lance, written by Shakespeare. When a man's servant shall play the cur with him, look you, it goes hard. One that I brought above a puppy, one that I saved from drowning when three or four of his blind brothers and sisters went to it. I was taught him, even as one would say precisely, thus I would teach a dog. I was sent to deliver him as a present to Mr. Sylvia for my master, and I come no sooner to the dining chamber, but he steps me to her trencher and steals her cape and's leg. Oh, tis a fall thing when a cur can not keep himself in all companies. I would have, as one should say, one that takes upon him to be a dog indeed, to be, as it were, a dog in all things. If I had not had more wit than he to take a fault upon me than he did, I think verily. He had been hanged for it. Sure as I live, he had suffered for it. You shall judge. He thrusts me himself into the company of three or four gentlemen like dogs under the duke's table. He had not been there, bless the mark, a pissing while. But all oh, the chambers smelled him. Out with the dog, says one. What cur is this, says another. Whip him out, says the third. Hang him up says the duke. I have been acquainted with the smell before knew it was crap. And goes me to the fellow that whips the dogs. Friend, quoth I, you mean whip the dog? I marry do I, quoth he. You will do him the more wrong, quoth I. Twas I did the thing you wot of. He makes me no more ado and whips me out of the chamber. How many masses would do this for their servant? Uh, I'll be sworn I have set on stocks for puddings he had stolen. Otherwise, he had been executed. I have set on the pillory for the geese he had killed. Otherwise, he had suffered for it. Thou thinks none of this now. No, uh, I remember the trick you served me when I took my leave of Madame Sylvia. Did not I bid thee still mark me, and do as I do? When didst thou see me heave up my leg, and make water against gentlewoman's farthingale? Didst thou ever see me do such a trick? 